Hello again. I'm actually stood just above that bit there where it was bricked up, which we were talking about yesterday. The arch infall on Myrtle Hill Bridge. But anyway, look at the weather. I even got the wind blocker off. This is fantastic. Heading over to Sheldon on the ferry. Off we go. Here we go, a little bit of the triangle. Not gonna do a huge load of filming on the way to the ferry because I don't want the uh, video to be overly long. I'll we'll have to cut a load of stuff out to keep it at reasonable length. Got some police activity over there. Got someone, look. That's a rarity. Don't even see police about normally, unless they're training, possibly. Someone there writing something down with the clipboard. Anyway, that's them. Yes, it's training. Look, there's loads of them up there, all walking around. And uh, down there, and they've all got their brand new uniforms on. Oh, someone else been arrested as well, so it must be training. Another two up ahead of me. So definitely some sort of training, exercise training day for new recruits. Did I mention this is the first time this year I've been out without my raincoat on? For all the good it does me now when it's not waterproof, but just got the fleece today, lovely. Ideal timing. Won't have too long to wait. In 1967, hovercraft stops at the Salty, those huts visible in the background. Is that house there? That's going to come into it then and now when I get to Sheldon. It's the roof you've got to look at, the shape of the roof. That's where it is in relation to everything else. It's the last house as you look along the entire row of houses. Very last house. There we go, that's the uh, first hole in my punch card for the ferry usage and I'm going to head up this way to use the toilets before I carry on. Ferry boat in and the outside seating. Lovely. And just down here by the Clipper Cafe are the public toilets which from here are even lovelier. <laughs> right there we go just to make a change going to see if we can find our way up to the botanical gardens via horse lane. Could be a steep climb but it's all good fun. Let's go and see what we can find. Certainly some back alleys, tight roads. See a sign there, Botanical Gardens. Lovely. Nice bit of uh, Latin there. Just admire the view from halfway up. As I pan round, this will make sense eventually. You see the top of the pink building there, right in the middle now. That's the roof we want to keep in mind for this then and now later on, which is really, dare I say it, quite spectacular. Here we go, lower entrance to Home Yards Botanical Gardens. Right, steps, stairs, lovely. At least with the wind blocker off, you get some of the bird song. Pause if you want to read it. And there's the pond in question. And here we go, coming up from the uh, fake castle. Here's 
is a very nice. And despite the trees, here's a view from the gardens in the past. So if we go roughly here somewhere, that sort of a, like a brickwork isn't there anymore, but we've been up here. And we're off in the drone from the Home Yards Botanical Gardens in Sheldon. Just going up to clear the trees to get a nice look at Timmouth. Oh yes, look, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. The pier there and the point. So nice to think as I'm stood on the point of so often filming the home yards gardens, but the other way around. Beautiful. As we turn around now, you'll sort of see the very top of the nest hidden in the trees. It's just coming visible now, but I'm not really very high up at the moment. So uh, I'm going to stop in a sec and just get a little bit higher. This is the main road to Torquay you're seeing there in the centre. There he is. Not much traffic on it today, a bit more height. There we go. What a view. I'm going to turn around now, look inland slightly. Bits you don't normally see, like that piece up there where they're building something at the top. I didn't really notice it when I was doing me, when I was filming. I noticed it now, so I would have had a proper look at that otherwise. And we carry on, look round up the river. Beautiful. Sheldon below us. Let's go a little bit forward. There we go. What a view. See the allotments down there in the centre? Sheldon allotments. And there's the bridge. As we fly out slightly over Sheldon itself, there's the docks. Turned around now. Get a bit more height and yet again, looking down at the nest. And you can see where I'm stood in the corner there. And looking down onto Sheldon at all these sort of twisty, windy little narrow streets. Look at it. Probably a little jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? Must be a nightmare for getting your car around there. There's the beach area where we get on and off the ferry. Some more building go go work going on down there. And there I am by the fake castle. And I'm gonna fly back to myself now. Just lining up. Whee, here we go. Now I think at some point here I stopped to take the 360 photo. That was it there. So um, please feel free to view the 360 photo. Link in description. 360 photos just finished doing, so I'm carrying on back. And I'm coming in to land. Of course, it wants to adjust itself to point in the exact direction it was pointing in when it took off. So it might be a sudden turn coming up in a minute. I'm not sure. Looking down at myself. There we go, I'm right in the centre. There's the sudden turn. And coming into land. Right on my hand. Whee! There I am. It's my bag on the bench there. Boop. Hello. And that's that. Smash in. There we go. Be sure to check out the 360 photo in the description that I took while I was up there. It's getting a bit greyer now, unfortunately. Sun's just gone in. A little bit more wind, so I don't know if I'll be um, doing another flight today. But that's okay, because we don't have to do everything in one day, do we? Just every now and again, when the chance arises, and it's more special. Oh yes. And we're coming out on the other exit, up near the top now, at this end. And we're gonna walk down the nest drive to the car park below and the nest itself. Brand new gates by the look of it. That's nice. Yeah, it's very nice. 
That's the home yards for Tankle Gardens. Here we are at the top of the main drag. Here are helicopters somewhere. You can't see it though. Here we go. Oh, a bit puffed now, but it's all downhill and flat from here. Norman comes down here in the bus on his Fresh for Time film. Now I don't have the clip to try and line it up in my mind, but then he comes down here. So what we do, try and get a little clip, put that bus going down here now. I'm going to take the uh, footpath, the footpath version, I think. Don't fancy um, going all down the road. It is a bit shorter. Remember I did this in February one year and it was all iced over. Nightmare. Kind of hard to believe this is an official path. And it is though. Last, last leg of it. Well, there we go. Safe and sound. Looked like it was going to be a lot slippier than it was. Quite some wet bits and bit parts, but uh, they weren't slippy. So that's alright. Dear Earth. If you remember when I came over to uh, do the cliff slippage on the beach, I showed you a little segment about uh, Dawn Kiff, who's feeding the robins down here. And uh, she's still going. Unfortunately though, she's changed her route, also they changed her route on her and uh, she won't be around doing it for much longer but she's arranged all places and people to come in and give them some food and set up a little sort of mini bird table for people to leave food on, which we're going to try and find in a second. It's only a stone thing but, you know, it's, it's all good. I can't see it at the moment, I thought it was up here but it's not, it must be further back down that way, which we'll do on our way back. In the meantime, it's going to take a fast stroll, obviously sped up, down through the tunnel Check out the slippage on the beach. Here we go. And here we go. Let's just have a quick glimpse down. Looks like most of it's been cleared away now or been taken away by the side, tide, one or the other. It's certainly still there, but it's nowhere near as noticeable. I suppose it's because where all the slippage was bright brown, now it's sort of turned into the same colour as the cliffs. Almost like part of the cliffs. It's blended itself in. I'm gonna make do with the zoom because there's not a lot of reason for me to walk along there in this wind. Lovely little secluded cove though. Lovely in the summer, you want to come down here, get away from people and have a little swim. Nice. See if we can find this little bird table, wherever it is. Oh, exhausted from that. That was the little bird path bit. That there was, was a heart, which was painted with their names of the birds on them. And um, so obviously someone's come along and smashed it up already. Can't leave anything alone. Can we hear them? They're up there somewhere. Oh well. Big fish. A little bit bigger than mine. See the dark ones hiding away as well? Lovely. Massive fish. Massive. No wonder the seagulls don't come and pull them out. They probably couldn't take them away. And of course, the nest farmhouse. See the tide going out of the river, quite a current there, flooding outwards. Oh, just missed the ferry. Never mind. Just heading back to Timmouth in the distance there. That's okay though, no rush. 
got to get mum to a foot appointment later on this afternoon but i've got plenty of time okay so remember that house i've been going around at the roof it's that one there imagine you're up on top of the cliff up there looking down and it's 1900 look at the different sorts of ships lovely Yeah, certainly looks a bit different then, doesn't it? Certainly looks a bit different. Take it from up there, looking down. Beautiful. Now it's just time to wait for the uh, ferry to come back over. Here it comes in the distance. solid ground lovely that was a nice little trip got two holes in my punch card for the ferry now so that's gonna come in useful so that's our Pam's old cottage there more decorative stuff going up on Venus over there by look at things Oh yeah, we've got all those police over here, haven't we? Oh, there's two over there. Yeah, they're doing their training. I wonder why I saw a police car. Well, that's a rarity. <laughs> I'm going to keep tripping over him now. I'm surprised we're not full of police in the triangle. And there we go. What a nice day. Able to wear my fleece. Didn't rain at all. Got a bit of a drone in. Lovely. Got over the shoulder and smashing. I'm later than normal getting home, but that's okay. I've still plenty of time to get mum to her appointment. So everything is good with the world. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully not to pouring rain. But uh, hopefully another day like this. Fingers crossed, summer's coming. Oh yes. Bye.